Jerry, I'd like to present to you the keys for this glorious airplane. United Airlines took delivery of the first Boeing 777, May 17, 1995. Please let me express my sincere appreciation for the timely completion of 777 aircraft, which we have placed our great hopes in. All Nippon Airways took delivery five months later. Japan Airlines was the third airline to take delivery. All three fleets are equipped with Pratt & Whitney PW4084 engines. The first engine model to be certified on the 777. And the first engine at airframe ever in aviation history to be certified for 180-minute extended twin operations before entry into service. Unprecedented reliability at start of service. The product of working together by airlines, Boeing, and Pratt & Whitney. relationships established early in the development process during engine mock-up reviews helped resolve technical issues and opened lines of communication that would continue facilitating smooth engine airframe transition into service a successful engine development program produced an improved more powerful PW 4000 Thousands of hours of intensive endurance operation proved the engine durable. Snap it up. What up? The engine was certified in extreme situations, such as a one in a billion chance rainstorm and strong crosswinds. Later on, during the aircraft certification program, the PW4084 handled crosswind testing with ease. Exceptional durability was demonstrated by the ingestion of four two and a half pound birds at takeoff. Subsequent bird encounters in commercial service to date have not caused fan or core damage. An encounter with an eight pound bird during takeoff was also successfully demonstrated. An entire fan blade was dynamited at the root to release it while the engine was operating at takeoff. The blade was contained. Pratt & Whitney powered the first five new aircraft through the very successful 777 flight test certification program. Every engine airframe goal was met or exceeded. No engine caused delays. Much additional testing was necessary to achieve 180 minute ETOP certification before entry into service. In one instance, a complete propulsion system built from flight hardware 
was run for an unprecedented 3,000 cycles without teardown. Day after day, 24 hours a day, equivalent to six years of service. Routine line maintenance was performed as in service by airline personnel, providing training and validation of procedures. Meanwhile, a test aircraft began flying the 1,000 cycle ETOPS program. It was a final test of engine airframe reliability and aircraft operation support. The aircraft traveled over long-range routes that would actually be flown in service. One of the engines that helped power the aircraft for almost half of its flights was first aged on the ground. Two thousand endurance cycles were completed prior to flying on the ETOPS aircraft. All maintenance was performed as in commercial service. Even engine changes were performed entirely by airline personnel. It was a definitive test of support equipment, publications, technical data, and training before revenue service. The ability to ship a PW4084 on a C-130 transport has been validated. The fan case and core are separated. The engine can be shipped as a single unit on a 747 freighter. Pratt & Whitney is providing the highest possible level of support to ensure service readiness and is working to prepare for the future. 90,000 pound thrust and 98,000 pound thrust models are being developed to provide thrust growth for all projected needs. Extensive development testing, analysis and review has put the 90,000 pound thrust model on schedule for FAA certification by the end of June 1996. W4084 is in service. Flying extended over water routes, accumulating flight hours three times the rate of the original PW4000. And that is derivative reliability.